one of my most favorite Adobe Illustrator features have always been image trace feature. So if I select any image and I click on image trace, I choose high fidelity photo or any one of these options, it will essentially trace out the image for me. And what that allows me to do is I can extract any object from any image and put it in my uh, web designs, app designs, whatever I want. What if I tell you that Adobe XD has a very similar feature hidden inside one of its plugins? Well, uh, you're in for a treat. In Adobe XD, if I bring in an image, select it, go to plugins and I have a plugin installed called Vectorize. And this is a, a, a very new plugin which has been introduced in XD. And if I click on Vectorize, I say uh, there are a lot of options here, but I'll choose detailed since I want a detailed view of the car. And I say convert. Uh, it'll take a couple of seconds, of course. And in a couple of seconds, you'll see this process which has started to occur. Uh, and to be honest, this seems magical. Uh, and see how fast it's producing parts which will then turn into different parts of the image. And this might take up to one, two, or even three minutes. But once it's done, it'll look pretty awesome. We have a, a, a final uh, product. As you can see, um, it's if you zoom in completely, it, you can see all these little uh, gradient parts that it's created. It's very artistic and unique. You can't really see it from afar, but it's there. Again, this is not a perfect example. For a UX and UI designer like you and I, we need something more useful. So for example, I've downloaded this little icon from Instagram. If you just search for the hashtag uh, daily logo design, uh, you'll probably find a ton of these. So I just picked one of these up and this this unique icon has been done by Bereal uh, on Instagram. So shout out to you Bereal for this logo. Hope you don't mind me taking this logo just for this tutorial. And uh, in this logo, if I just click on the logo, it's still an image. I want to go to the plugins. I'll go to vectorize and I'll say vectorize. And here, rather than saying detailed because this won't really need the detailed view, I'll say grayscale. For icons, grayscale is better because then you get a better outline. And if I click on convert, after 181 odd parts and seven colors, seven grayscale colors, um, it has converted this icon into just an icon, right? I can delete the background and what I can do is just copy this icon over and I can separate it. I can make whatever of it. And uh, the best part about this is that you can uh, edit the colors and everything on your own. This is now your own vector design. And this works great if you want to use this for maybe illustrations or icons, anything you like. There are small discrepancies or small problems. Like if you zoom in, it's not pixel perfect, but if you double click, drag around and delete all these extra anchor points, you will get a more or less perfect image. I mean, it's better than tracing it out or actually going out and making the icon completely remaking the icon yourself. So this is a great way to uh, use illustrations which you cannot get a hand off for the SVG or any other uh, type of editable document. Now I want to show you guys one or two more examples of how you can use this to make some unique designs. So for that, what I'll do is I'll import a scenery that I've downloaded from unsplash.com and I'll just put it right here inside the artboard. And if I click on it, go to vectorize and I have so many options. Let's try one of these artistic options. So if I say artistic four, and it might take a few seconds to read the image. I'll say convert and uh, it'll start saying converting, please wait and see the magic come alive in real time. The best part about this is unlike Illustrator, you can't see the changes happening in real time. Uh, even though Illustrator is of course much more accurate, 
This plugin really showcases how powerful Adobe XD has gotten and how much potential plugins have in Adobe XD. So uh, I, I do an entire series of uh, the best Adobe XD plugins every month. I'll put the playlist for that in the, dis uh, in the description or I'll put some videos in the iCard on the top right. So you can go check all my other videos similar to this one out right now. And I'll see you guys in the next video every Monday and Thursday, by the way. Thank you for watching. God bless you.